friends! Welcome to another adventure with fantastic first grade frogs. Eleanor and I are thinking about lady beetles, aren't we Eleanor? Yes, lady beetles. Not ladybugs, lady beetles, because Eleanor here is not a ladybug. She's a beetle. Right Eleanor? Yes, bugs are a group of insects that have a triangle on their back and they have a bit of their wings that's kind of leathery. They have other characteristics too. Beetles, on the other hand, have a hard outer covering on their wings. They have this shell on their wings um, that helps protect them. And so they're not a bug at all. They are definitely a beetle. Lots of people call them ladybugs, but they really should be called lady beetles. Right, Eleanor? Well, Eleanor, would you like to read a book about lady beetles? Okay. We're going to read a book all about lady beetles. Let's do it now. There you go, Eleanor. So this book is called Ladybug Life Cycle by Justin McCory Martin. This book has a wonderful table of contents. It tells us all about ladybugs in chapter one, egg to larva in chapter two, pupa to little ladybug in chapter three, and all grown up in chapter four. But we want to know all about ladybugs, don't we? The whole thing. Everything. So we're going to read the whole book. Chapter 1. All about ladybugs. What is tiny, shiny, and dressed in a spotted coat? A ladybug. Ladybugs are insects. They are a part of a group of insects called beetles. There you have it. They are beetles. Ladybugs are not all ladies. They can be male or female. Ladybugs have six legs and two pairs of wings. One pair of wings is hard. They protect another pair of wings that is fragile and used for flying. So here you can see that hard outer covering their wings. But when they pull it up when they're flying, you can see the soft, fragile, it's see-through too, um, pair of wings that gets folded up underneath that hard outer covering. They have six legs, just like all insects, and two antennae. There's its head and its eyes, and of course, all those lovely spots. Now, I asked Alex to show us some of the other parts that lady beetles have, and here's what happened when I did. Alex here has volunteered to help us identify the parts of a lady beetle. So, he already has a head, so we're good with that. But now he needs a thorax. So let's give him a thorax. There we go. He's got a nice thorax. So we have a head, we have a thorax, and now we need an abdomen because he doesn't have one of those. So we're going to tie his abdomen on like this. There. Now he has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Perfect. He's starting to look like a lady beetle already. Now, we know that a lady beetle is an insect, so it has to have six legs attached to its thorax. Well, let's count legs. Here's one leg. And here's leg number two. Leg number three down here. Pick up your leg, lady beetle. And leg number four. But now we have a problem. Our lady beetle only has one, two, three, four legs attached to its thorax. It needs two more. What should we do? How about if we give them two more? Here you go, Lady Beetle. One, two. Now he has one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now our Lady Beetle needs some antennae because all insects have them, right? Here we go. There, he has two nice little antennae on top of his head. Perfect. Turning into quite the nice little Lady Beetle, isn't he? Now, 
lady beetles have nice, very see-through, very fragile wings. You don't see them very often because their wing covers are covering them up. But when they lift their wing covers to fly, then we get to see them. So let's give him some lovely wings. Here you are, lady beetle. And let's show off your beautiful wings. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now our lady beetle would not be complete without those beautiful red, hard outer wing covers. So we have to give him da -da -da -da, some beautiful red, hard wing covers to cover his other wings. And this is the part we would see if we saw a lady beetle. We see that red shell covering their wings. When they fly, they lift those red wing covers out of the way. The little fragile see-through wings come out and help them fly, and then they fold back under the wing covers. How about that? Turn around, lady beetle, so we can take a good look at you. Ta-da! We have a head, a thorax, an abdomen. We have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. We have some lovely antennae. We have those soft, fragile see-through wings, and we have those nice, hard, protective wing covers. Wonderful job, lady beetle. Now you can go fly away. That was pretty silly, wasn't it? Alex really helped us see all the parts of a lady beetle. Let's learn more about lady beetles now. But lady beetles do not begin their lives looking this way at all. Read on to learn more about the life cycle of this incredible bug, or beetle. It says ladybugs use their antennae to feel, smell, and taste. Chapter two, egg to larva. A ladybug starts life inside an egg. Females lay eggs on leaves. The eggs look like teeny yellow jelly beans. It says one ladybug can lay 1,000 eggs during her lifetime. Now, here's a picture of a plastic model of the eggs sitting on a leaf. Now, the plastic model is bigger than it would be in real life, but you can see that they really do kind of look like little jelly beans on the leaf. And it shows us how they're all kind of next to each other on that leaf. And they, they honestly, little tiny yellow jelly beans. Now in real life, they would be very tiny and we could, you know, just barely see them on the leaf. But in the plastic model, they made them bigger so we could see them better. Let's keep reading to find out what else happens to a lady beetle. A few days later, the eggs hatch and out crawl tiny creatures. These are ladybug larvae. Munch, munch. They are so hungry, they eat their own eggshells. Well, we've heard about that before, haven't we? Who else eats their own eggshell? Yes, the larva of a butterfly also eats its own eggshell. Now, we call the larva of a butterfly a caterpillar, don't we? We call the larva of a lady beetle a larva, but we call the larva of a butterfly a caterpillar, and both of them eat their own eggshell. Cool. Ladybugs lay their eggs in the springtime, it says. Now, you could probably see these little creatures in the early summer. I've seen them crawling around in my backyard before. They are very tiny. They're only about this long. And um, they just kind of crawl around in the backyard eating. The job of a larva is to eat, eat, eat. Its favorite food is a tiny bug called an aphid. A larva can eat 25 aphids in one day. Wow, that's a lot of aphids. And it says an aphid looks like this close up. All that eating makes the larva grow and grow. It may not look like a ladybug yet, but just wait, something amazing is about to happen. And the larva grows to be about this big. So here's the picture to see what that looks like. But here is that plastic model. Now this is a plastic model to show us what it looks like, but it really wouldn't be that big. It's very tiny, it's only about this big. And so you would not find this crawling around your backyard. It would only be about this big. And they would be eating aphids, which is their favorite food. 
And that's good for farmers because farmers don't like aphids. Aphids eat crops, so ladybugs eat the aphids and help the farmers. Chapter 3, Pupa to Little Ladybug. After a few weeks, the larva stops moving and attaches itself to a leaf. Then it turns into something called a pupa. A pupa is like a wrapped up present. Does this remind you of something? Yes, you know how a caterpillar or a butterfly larva then turns into a chrysalis, right? Well, a chrysalis is the pupa of a butterfly. So here's the pupa of a ladybug. And here's that plastic model to show us what that looks like. On a leaf, that little tiny larva will turn into a pupa. And just like a chrysalis, it kind of sits there and it looks like it's doing nothing for a while. Because inside, the larva is turning into a grown-up ladybug. Guess what happens next? About one week later, the pupa breaks open. Surprise! Out pops a little ladybug. So it says female ladybugs are bigger than male ladybugs. At first, the ladybug is soft and pale, but after a few hours, its shell gets hard and bright like this. Soon the ladybug is able to spread its wings and fly. Wow, at last it is all grown up. And it says an adult ladybug is about this size. That is smaller than the larva it came from. And here's that plastic model to show us what a ladybug looks like. Now, of course, it wouldn't really be that big. Remember, a ladybug is only about this big, right, in real life? But this is just to show us what it looks like. They have spots. There could be a, di a different color than red. Um, they have six legs and those two antennae. And they have those hard outer wing covers. Ladybugs have a very interesting life cycle. Do you remember the four main steps? So at day one, a female ladybug lays eggs. And you can see how small they are on that leaf. At five days, a larva is born. It grows and grows. At 25 days, a larva turns into a pupa. And at 32 days, a pupa turns into a ladybug. Or in other words, the ladybug emerges from the pupa. The life cycle of most ladybugs takes four to six weeks. So here's the picture of all of those things happening. Chapter four, all grown up. There are more than 4,000 kinds of ladybugs in the world. Some are red with a few spots. Some are red with lots of spots. Some ladybugs are brown or gold. Some are even sunny yellow. It says ladybugs can have zero to 24 spots. How many spots do these have? Take, look, take a look at all of those. Now, when I was a little girl, they used to say that you could tell the, how old a ladybug was by counting its spots. But now we know that's not true, is it? Different kinds of ladybugs have different numbers of spots. During the summer, ladybugs eat lots of aphids and small insects. Munch, munch. They want to have full stomachs for the long winter ahead. Why? Many kinds of ladybugs hibernate. Well, that's cool. They gather in groups. They hide under leaves, rocks, or logs to sleep all winter. And here's that big group of ladybugs hibernating for the winter. Hmm, kind of like a bear, right? In the spring, ladybugs wake up and they lay eggs again. And the life cycle starts all over again. Wow. Eleanor, that was a pretty good story, wasn't it? Would you like to learn a little bit more about ladybugs? So would I. Let's read Ladybugs. Ladybugs by Martha E. H. Rustad. There's our table of contents. Ladybugs are insects. They are a kind of beetle. Ladybugs hatch from eggs in spring. And here you can see them hatching from their little eggs that kind of do look like jelly beans. How small they must be. Of course, in the picture, they made it look much, much bigger. Baby ladybugs are called larvae. A ladybug larva is long and spiny. Its favorite food is aphids. Aphids are pests that kill plants. And there you can see a ladybug larva. And of course, it looks way bigger than it would be in real life. 
A larva eats and grows for three or four weeks. Then it builds a shell around its body. And of course we know that's called a pupa. Its body changes inside the shell. Soon an adult ladybug, well it says hatches, but it's actually called emerges. Emerges means comes out. Hatches would be from the egg. Emerges is what they do from their pupa. And here you can see that ladybug flying. We can see its soft, fragile wings coming out from under its hard wing covers. Most adult ladybugs start out yellow. They do not have spots. Soon their bodies may change color. Many turn red or orange with spots. Look at that. When they first emerge from their pupa, they're sort of a pale color, sort of a yellowish color. But then as they dry out, just like our butterflies have dry out and their wings start all, all crumply and um, wet and they have to dry out, well, when the lady beetle comes out of its pupa, it's still kind of not quite right, not like a ladybug that we might imagine. So they have to dry out and the color starts coming out on their shell. And then we can see them in a few hours looking like a lady beetle. Ladybugs have strong jaws for chewing. And it's showing you this is its jaws. Now you have jaws for chewing too. You have bones in your um, face that help you chew. Uh, 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 like that. Now lady beetle jaws are not made of bone like yours are, but they do have jaws and it helps them chew their aphids. They can eat about 50 insects per day. Oh my, they are hungry little insects, aren't they? Ladybugs use antennas to feel and smell. Their antennas help them find aphids. All insects have six legs. Ladybugs have a claw on each leg. Ladybugs grab aphids with their claws. And you could see there, there's a whole bunch of aphids and the ladybug is trying to get them so they can have a good dinner. Ladybugs have two hard wings and two soft wings. They fly with their soft wings. The hard wings cover and protect the soft wings. So you can see that the lady beetle has pulled its hard wing covers up and out of the way so its soft wings can come out and they use those for flying and then they can fold those back up again under the hard outer coverings to keep them safe. Ladybugs gather together in fall. They find a safe place to rest for winter. Ladybugs lay eggs in spring. Soon new ladybugs will hatch from the eggs. And you can see they're very, very tiny and look like itty bitty little jelly beans. Look at this. This book even has a glossary at the back. Remember a glossary is where we can find out what some of the words mean. And it says larva. Hmm. Larva is the first stage of life for many insects. A ladybug larva is also called a grub. Well, isn't that interesting? Wow, Eleanor, we sure did learn a lot about ladybugs today, didn't we? We did. It was very nice having you join us today. I hope that you'll come back another day, too. Mm-hmm. Yes, the butterflies are due to come out any day. I'll bet you'll want to meet them. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for today, friends. I hope you might find a ladybug or maybe even a ladybug larva in your yard and say hello. Bye-bye for now.